Hi, I'm Coach Ray and this is West Coast Soccer Magazine. Let's get things started with the fact that four West Coast teams will be playing for the State Cup title the first weekend of May. The U14 Wonder, the U15 Wild and Wicked, and the U17 Kryptonite will all go for the ultimate California title of State Cup champion. Here's West Coast Director of Coaching, Troy Dyack. Yeah, I'm super excited about West Coast Soccer and the four teams competing in State Cup Championship uh, this upcoming May the 5th. We have our U14 Girls Wonder that are playing in the U14 State Cup uh, Premier Cup. Our U15 Wicked are playing for the State Cup. Our U15 Wild are playing in the State Cup. And our U17 West Coast Kryptonite are playing for the U17 State Cup. The West Coast Wonder punched their ticket to the State Cup Final with a 2-0 victory over Manteca Football on April 14th. That now sets up the final against IX United Elite on May the 5th. This is one of our uh, new teams to the club, just a year in existence here for them. Uh, they've really come a long ways from a silver level uh, team in the past, have jumped all the way up to the Premier Cup uh, Championship on the 5th. They're a wonderful passing um, very calm and orchestrated type of team uh, on, the, on the field. They love to move the ball from the inside out and uh, have great service and some good finishing players up top. The West Coast Wild advanced to the State Cup Final with a hard-fought 2-1 victory over Santa Clara Sporting. That sets up a championship showdown with Diablo FC 97. I'm really excited actually. I mean, I haven't gone to a State Cup Final since my first year of high comp soccer. And um, I think my team is ready for this. I think we can win it. Oh, well, it was really cool to go to the finals because we've never done it and just went, feel it like the feeling of winning and going to something that great is just a great feeling. The West Coast Wicked advanced to the final with a 2-0 victory over Diablo FC. They now meet Santa Rosa United in the championship. U15 Wicked is, uh, is, is a fantastic team coached by Coach Stuart Rafferty. Um, have had so much uh, great development in their, their soccer uh, playing uh, career here at West Coast Soccer. Uh, Coach Sarah Gerardo has helped uh, be a part of that as well in their coaching effort. And uh, they're developing quite nice. I don't think, uh, once again, many people would consider uh, you know, them to make the uh, State Cup Final, but they're there and they've worked really extremely hard. The coaching staff, the players, the parents, um, we're committed to this year and, and, and getting them to practice and, and the results are showing with the State Cup Final on Sunday. The West Coast Kryptonite will go for their third State Cup title when they take on Central California Soccer Alliance on May the 5th. The Kryptonite advance to the championship with a 2-1 victory over Bay Oaks. Yeah, the, the Kryptonite have been kind of the flagship uh, team for West Coast Soccer. They've uh, been into the State Cup championship uh, twice and have won it. This will be their third uh, attempt. Uh, at a State Cup Final. They won the National Championship in 2011 and went back to the Finals in 2012. So we've had three teams here at West Coast Soccer uh, play for a National Championship in just uh, two years. And we're really excited to see if uh, the Kryptonite can really leave their youth soccer program on, on a high note and send off their, their, college, their seniors to, to college playing under athletic scholarship. Yeah, we, my team as a whole, we're really excited. Um, it doesn't take just one person on our team. We've all worked really hard as, um, as teammates, and we're really excited to win our third State Cup final. We don't expect anything less than that. Those State Cup games will be played in Turlock on May the 5th, and you can find out how all the teams did by going to our website at westcoastsoccerclub.com. Shifting gears a little bit, if you're a player between U15 and U19, your chance to play for West Coast is right around the corner. Tryouts will be held May the 11th at Livermore High School. Yeah, we're really excited about our tryouts. Um, last week we had our first tryout for the U15 to U18 age group. Uh, we had over 77 players come to the U15-16 age group and um, about 50 players come to our 17 to 18 age group. Um, I'm excited because we have one more uh, tryouts. We're really focused on our four teams that are playing in the older age group state cup championship on Sunday. Uh, so our main focus for practice this week is that and not worried about uh, you know, the trials for, uh, for, for Saturday the 11th. But um, uh, we're hoping that uh, we show well in the, uh, the State Cup and then after that um, we'd love to see some more players that are very serious about their soccer and serious about training hard 
uh, to get to the next level at our tryouts on Saturday, May 11th. The next tryout for West Coast Soccer Club for U15 through U19 players will be May 11th at Livermore High School in Livermore. The U17 and U18 boys and girls tryouts will be from 7 to 8.30 that night, and then the U15 and U16 boys and girls will be from 8.30 until 10. Livermore High School is located at 600 Maple Street at the corner of East Avenue and Maple. Here's some West Coast players who recommend tryouts, including Kelly Smith of the Kryptonite, who travels all the way from Salinas. Um, for myself personally, the commute is completely worth it. You're getting what you're paying for, what you're working for, what you're commuting for. Um, it's just a great atmosphere to be around, and if this is something you want to continue on, um, the older you get, it's a great opportunity for anybody. Um, I would recommend playing for West Coast because it really brings you to the next level of soccer and we have a good style of play and all the coaches will help you get to that next level. I would recommend someone to come try out for West Coast Soccer because it will bring them to the next level and it's always fun and it just helps you improve as a player. One of the highlight stories of 2013 is that 11 West Coast players were offered scholarships to play college soccer. Let's find out more. Yeah, I'm just I'm blessed with a great coaching staff, uh, wonderful committed players, and um, you know a passion and a desire to excel. And I think our philosophy is uh, indic indicative of the the style of play that we have on the field uh, shines through in our philosophy of coaching. And uh, not only are our players great soccer players, but they're also great human beings. Some of them are you know the, the leaders in their school. Um, you know, I'm hearing from principals and athletic directors that not only are they great athletes, but you know, they're, they're great students and um, they're great role models for others in the school. So we're really excited about our seniors that are graduating too, that are going off to college and playing under athletic scholarships. We now have 11 um, graduating seniors here at West Coast Soccer that will just do that. They'll go off and play college soccer under athletic scholarships. Here's a list of the West Coast players who have received scholarships. Yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, West Coast, Troy Dak, and Kate Pointer have definitely helped me um, through my whole college process. And they helped me grow as a player and as a person to have the scholarship that I have now and for the rest of my teammates. Um, almost all of our seniors have scholarships and it's been great to see everyone grow so far as soccer players and as teammates and as people in general. That will wrap up this edition of West Coast Soccer Magazine. Remember to like us on Facebook and get all your West Coast soccer information on our website at westcoastsoccerclub.com. Best of luck to all those teams at the State Cup Finals this weekend, and until next time, go West Coast.